Hey guys, welcome back to the next video. And in this video, let's explore a sample ClickSense application. All right, so here we are on the Click Cloud Resources. And uh, let's take any simple application. For example, let's take the Sales Performance Pipeline, one of my favorite subject. So it will take some time, as you can see, to open up the application. And uh, I think pretty much every time it takes a similar time uh, whenever I have opened it. So I don't think it is doing any optimization. Probably it is doing some optimization, but I feel like every time it is taking the similar time. All right. Um, so when we open an application which is published, that's how it looks like. It has the information about the sales performance pipeline and productivity. Um, some information about when the data was last loaded, when it was published, published to and file name. And uh, some description about uh, this application drills into the details of sales code and pipeline metrics. The user can discover how all the components of sales organization are performing. And if you go down, you basically you see the three different sections. First is the sheets. Sheets are basically where you create your visualization and actually can see it afterwards. So you have introduction sheet, you have dashboard sheet, then you have performance and effectiveness, pipelines, quota, competitive analysis, opportunity details. So if you see uh, kind of a structure you will visualize. So first it starts with introduction that has a high level dashboard. Then it goes into its individual areas and drill down it. So that's kind of an example of how a standard uh, ClickSense application should look like. You know, it always starts with some information about how to interact with your application. So that's where the introduction is, some key definition about what are all the metrics, what are all the information that you are doing, then at the high level dashboard and executive dashboard, which management can see, and then some metrics, which within the department you may have different analysts or maybe somebody in the management team who want to look at uh, their specific information about some somebody in quota team somebody in the pipeline team somebody uh, at a very opportunity detail maybe a sales rep may want to see it so they can or a sales manager can see it so information is present for everyone they just need to go in and drill down so how you can see individual this thing uh, sheets well you just need to go ahead and click on it and this information will be populated over here. And as you can see, uh, it has given the introduction, dashboard, uh, given the definition, a small definition about each sheet and some information about the charting over here. And if I need to move on to the next sheet, which is dashboard, then I have two options over here. So this is the first section where as you can see uh, the name of the sheet the application is here sales performance and pipeline if i click over here this is what it shows we have already seen it earlier and uh, on the right side it gives you the option to take help uh, stories bookmarks and finally the sheets so either i can jump directly on any sheet or i can use this uh, next sheet option so i click on the next sheet and the dashboard will be populated for me so i can go step by step using these or i can jump by coming over here and uh, pick any sheet of my interest once i do that i have uh, some options like as you can see i have the options of selecting any region if i click if i click on country i can select the country i can select the competitor i can select the sales wrap and all of this information will be populated for me. So for example, I am interested in China and I'll just click over here and all of this information, as you can see very quickly, is updated for me about what is a closed revenue, quota achievement opportunities and all. And what I selected is now present over here and that's basically the sec section over here. First section is some information about your higher level objects then what you do in these objects as part of the selection will present over here. So we selected the employee country China from here. This is now present here. If you want to go back, we can click over here and take a step back as well as we can remove all of the selections by coming over here. So let's go ahead and click over here. 
and all of our selection or we just made one selection that has been removed if we would have selected three four things for example let's say if i have would have selected apac and uh, china and uh, maybe sales trap as anderson andrews nelson uh, and if i want to remove all of these i will just go ahead and clear the selection all of the three selection will be removed and if i want to take a step by step approach then i would have taken this step back that's it so that's basically the differences um, if you come on the right hand side uh, you will find uh, something like you can do a search so for example if i select let's say andrew it will give me all of the information about uh, uh, andrew if it can find in the data source so as you can see it is doing a smart search done and it has shown me these uh, sales wrap it can find in customer name it can find the andrew so it, it is now asking me what i need to select over here and accordingly it will present the visualization for me so if you're not select interested here because that's like uh, too clumsy but sometimes it's very helpful because uh, you may have thousands of products and uh, instead of selecting one product by searching it maybe it is starting with p or maybe r you know it's somewhere down the middle you can just come over here and search it after that um we have selections so what it does it it finds all of the dimension fields and uh, show you over here which you can actually use to make the selection right so these are the things which is available for you for for these three different sections first section is the general information about the stories the bookmarks so probably i have not explained stories so stories are nothing but something very specific a message that you want to communicate so for example if a product sales is slowing down um, then you may want to figure out the reason and uh, to figure out the reason there is a story behind it so what you may want to do is probably tell that story with the help of the data that when it started how it started down maybe competitor giving the discounts or maybe the product was not performing it was having bugs so on and so forth you can collect all of those things and present a story uh, which is against related to a very specific subject that's where you need to create a story so that's the basic idea about it uh, bookmarks is something you have done some analysis by making some selections over here uh, and then you want to preserve that analysis for later use or maybe to share with someone else you will going to go ahead and use the bookmarks and we have already seen the sheets right so this is the first section in the next section it's all about selections the third section this entire sheet is all about uh, how you do the uh, how you create the different types of objects whether it is a list object like this and uh, whether it is uh, the charts and metrics like this so that's very quickly about uh, how the different components are within a say within a, a clicksense app uh, specifically if i talk about in the sheet and uh, how you can interact with them so i will meet you in the next video and talk more about uh, these different uh, charts and metrics and some more things about the selections so stay tuned for that